Hey guys, welcome back to my channel. I'm so excited for today's video. I know I say that in every video, but I'm always excited when I talk to you guys and when I'm filming, but today's video is extra exciting because if you didn't already see by the title, we have a very high-end product, two very high-end products actually, that we are gonna be doing a first impression and reviewing. And those are the brand new Gucci Beauty Primer and Foundation. So, so excited about this one and I'll get into all those details in just a minute, but before I do, please make sure to give this a thumbs up for me and subscribe to my channel if you haven't already. It helps to support the channel, grow the family, so I really appreciate it if you do. Thank you so much, but if you want to see me review and try out the new Gucci Beauty Primer and Foundation, then stay tuned for the rest of the video. I am so anxious, you guys. Every like high-end, like really expensive, known brand foundation that I've tried has so far been good, so I have high hopes for this. And when I saw that they were coming out with a serum too, or not a serum, sorry, a primer, I was like, okay, I need this in my life. Was it expensive? Hell yeah. Was it worth it? I sure hope so, <laughs> so we'll see. I'm gonna get into all the details on both of them, but I'm gonna start with the primer, of course, because that's going on my face first. So basically, this is called the Gucci Serum Silk, oh sorry, Gucci Silk Priming Serum. Oh, sorry, it's like in French up here, and I was trying to read that, and it was just not gonna happen. It's, yeah, Gucci Silk Priming Serum. So this is one fluid ounce, pretty standard for primers. And then on the back, doesn't really say anything that interests us. <laughs> okay, so this lasts for 12 months, that I can tell you, which is also very standard. But I have this pulled up on the Sephora app so that I can just like read up on the details for you guys before I actually get into applying everything. Right now I don't have anything on my face. It's like completely clean. I just have some brows on, but nothing else, no foundation, no nothing. So perfectly clean base. But for the primer, on Sephora it goes for $57. So really, really up there as far as price goes for a primer. For the details, it says that it is a primer that creates a luminous matte finish. Luminous and matte, hmm. We'll see. Visibly evens tone and visibly plumps skin while creating a soft glow effect. That sounds amazing. Basically, yes, that's what it says. It creates a soft glow effect, which who does not love that? And then it says, optimizing foundation coverage for all day wear. This non-sticky smooth formula is suitable for all skin types. This primer forms an imperceptibly silky second skin-like film once applied. When used to prepare the skin for foundation, pores, lines, and wrinkles appear less visible and makeup stays put. So lots of good talk, but we'll see what it actually does. And then of course there's not really a how to use because I'm assuming it just goes like any other primer and you just so that's exactly what we're gonna do so I'm taking it by the way I am obsessed with this packaging it's like classic Gucci packaging but it's like this like really pretty like nudish peach ish color instead of like the classic white and I'm living for it I love this color so much but let's just open this up Ooh, this is heavy. That's the first thing that I notice. And this is real glass, I would hope so, because it's very expensive. It better be high-end quality packaging. But this is really pretty, you guys. Like, this, right off the bat, is like the kind of packaging on a product that I would like keep on top of my vanity, because it's just pretty to look at. This pump, I'm hoping, is gonna be good. I love that it has a pump, but Let's just start applying this and then I'll let you guys know if I have any Thoughts right off the bat about it. So I'm just gonna pump some out onto my fingers and then apply to everything By the way, here's like the consistency of it. It's not like crazy runny It is a little bit 
but it's not like watery, you know, so. I also don't know how to describe the smell to you guys. Like, it's almost like this kind of, like it almost smells like roses, but not at the same time. It's like this weird florally smell. It's not bad, but I don't really think it's great either. I don't really care for it to be honest, but it definitely could be worse. Not the worst. It definitely feels silky when I'm applying. Like it feels a little bit silicone-y if that makes sense. But just like off of a first impression, I'm looking at it in the mirror and as far as like what it claims, it says that it's a luminous matte finish. I guess I can see it being a little bit more on the matte side, but I feel like my natural glow is still shining through, which I do really like that about it. It says it's supposed to even tone. I honestly don't think it does. Just like right off the bat from just this product. Like I have some hyperpigmentation, especially around here from breaking out. Like I don't really think it brightened anything up to be honest i think as far as like my tone goes it looks pretty much the same and then it says it visibly plumps the skin so i don't know do you guys think my skin looks plumper i think just looking at it like i just put this on like a minute ago so i don't know if it takes a hot minute but i don't think my skin necessarily looks like plumper like i don't think my cheeks went from like this to this or anything like that, but I do feel like it's making my skin look really nice. Like, obviously it's not hiding my hyperpigmentation and stuff, but I feel like the overall kind of, like, soft glow, basically, that it's giving me is really pretty. Moving on to the foundation now, the one I'm most excited about. This is the Gucci, uh... The Gucci Natural Finish Fluid Foundation, also one fluid ounce, also lasts 12 months, so pretty standard on everything that it says on the box. And then on Sephora's website, I'm going to read to you guys again, just like on here, basically it says that this goes for $68, so definitely up there in price, but... One thing I will say, with Gucci, I would have expected it to be more expensive, so this was like a pleasant surprise almost, because Gucci is like a known designer brand, and a lot of designer brands have really, really expensive makeup products, like for example, Tom Ford. I have a stick foundation from Tom Ford that is $88, which is crazy expensive. This is in the same price range as like the Pat McGrath and the Armani foundations. So if you liked those, this is in the same price range. Um, so yeah, $68. I got this in the shade 310N. I'm hoping that this time it matches me. I know I made a big, big shade match no-no with that Fenty Beauty powder foundation. That was just a mess as far as color matching goes, so I'm hoping I got it right on this one. I do have a tan, but it is coming off a little bit, so I'm praying for the best. But for this one, it says that it's a natural finish, my favorite finish, liquid foundation available in 40 shades, which is really, really nice, and developed for all skin types that can be worn in multiple ways for a flawless looking complexion. Coverage is medium, also my favorite coverage, Finished natural formulation liquid and it also says it's designed with a texture that blurs imperfections and makes pores appear less visible the buildable formula offers controlled coverage this lightweight silky foundation is non greasy easy to apply and creates a visibly unified complexion for wear that is comfortable on the skin all day long so that sounds like a lot of good features I'm hoping that it steps up to the plate and does that for me, but we'll see. So I got the shade 310 and it's supposed to be medium. So let's just take this out of the box too and see what we're working with. Yeah, this packaging is killing me, you guys. I love this. Right off the bat though, I can already tell I screwed up the color match again. So 
I should have filmed this when I was tanner. I swear to God, you guys, like two or three days ago, I was like four shades darker than this, but my tan is coming off. It's like that time of the week where I need to reapply to my face and my body. So don't judge me. I'm sorry. So we're just gonna jump right into applying. Let's go. I also want to show you guys, I know I look really crazy, but I wanted to show you the consistency of this. Like this also is not crazy watery. It kind of just like stays in place for the most part when you do this or this, doesn't really move. So not like the most lightweight watery formula, but it doesn't feel heavy on my face at all so far. So. I definitely messed up on the color match again, but I feel like this is gonna be a good shade for me in the summer, cause I'll be even darker from being outside all the time and applying self tanner. So this will match me in the summer, I know it will. But overall, I feel like I have a mix of things to say. So just overall, I really, really do like how it looks on my face. Like as far as the finish goes, it definitely is like a more natural finish foundation. It's not totally matte, which of course I love, and it's not like dewy or making me shine or anything like that. It's just like the perfect mix of both, and it looks really, really nice on the skin. It's definitely a medium coverage, like a heavier light to medium coverage, if that makes sense. Like I feel like I still have like little spots on my face that you could see, but I don't really like full coverage foundation. Like I feel like it's easier to cover something up with a little concealer or another layer rather than have it look cakey, which this doesn't look cakey on my face at all and it feels really, really lightweight. One thing I will say is that I feel like even with like the foundation and the primer together, I feel like it maybe accentuated my pores a little bit. Let me just get close up for you guys. I don't know how well you can see this and this right here, especially. This is like where my pores are the worst. And I feel like this is making them stand out a little bit. Not the biggest fan of that. I don't really like it when my pores are like in your face like that. And another thing I like is that it's not really clinging to any of my dry patches. Like as you guys know, my skin is dry to normal so sometimes foundations can just like hang on to those dry spots and really make it look gross and crusty but this didn't so i do like that about it i just don't know how i feel about like about my pores being like this so those are just like a couple positives and a couple negatives that i noticed about this but that's pretty much all I have to say in this exact moment, but I want to apply the rest of my makeup and see how other products sit on top of these and see if it kind of fixes any of those things or worsens anything. So I'm gonna apply some makeup and then I will be right back to give you guys my final thoughts and opinions about these two products. Okay guys, I'm back. I applied the rest of my makeup and I definitely noticed some interesting things as far as the pores go my opinion kind of stays the same because even after i put on my powder i feel like my pores are like more accentuated than they normally are like you could see them a lot clearer even when i'm looking at myself in the mirror head on i can still see like some texture happening right here so that i'm not a huge fan of but i do like how the rest of my makeup applied on top i feel like i had an easy time blending everything nothing was really looking too patchy or crazy so i do really like that it's still giving me that really nice like soft glow kind of look like it says it's a natural finish the one thing i will say though is after I applied the rest of my makeup, I noticed my pores and my lines like right here on my forehead were a lot more noticeable. I don't know how well the camera is picking that up. 
it's definitely more noticeable now that I'm looking closer at that. And then of course my smile lines, but that happens with every foundation. I have yet to find one that doesn't do that, so I'm not judging it based off that. Overall, those are pretty much the only things that I really, really noticed about it. Overall, I think it's a really pretty foundation. Like I feel like I'm having a good skin day, if that makes sense, besides the pores. But other than like, just don't pay attention to this area of my face and it looks pretty good. Like I feel like it blended out nice, like I said. I just feel like my skin looks really smooth and youthful and just good. But if you're someone that doesn't really have pores that are noticeable like mine, then maybe this will work better for you. I just don't think I could get used to my pores being this noticeable. I'll have to test it out again and see how it works with like an actual pore filling primer like my Tatcha one that I use because that one's really good for filling pores. So I'll see if that makes a difference at all. I'm hoping it does because this is expensive. That's pretty much all I have to say about both products. This I think is worth a try for sure. I do like how it made my skin feel and look. Just be careful if you're looking for something that you really want to cover your pores because I feel like this might not be that. And then this, is it worth $68? No, but I do really, I think it's a good foundation. I feel like if I really prepped my skin and really made sure to fill in those pores beforehand, it would look really nice. I'm gonna keep using this. I'm gonna keep trying this to see if there's like different ways that I can kind of manipulate it into my skin to get rid of these kinds of things and then I'll keep you guys posted we'll see but as far as the first impression goes that's just where I'm at with them I was expecting a little bit more but that's all I have for today's video I hope you guys enjoyed this one comment let me know if you're seeing what I'm seeing as far as the pores go or if you notice anything else that you like or you don't like about it just let me know your thoughts, or if you've tried it, also let us know so we all know some different opinions on it. Make sure to give this a huge thumbs up for me. Like I said, I appreciate it so much if you do. Share with your friends, and please subscribe to my channel if you haven't already. Let's get this channel growing so I could do a little giveaway for you guys. But stay tuned, and I will see you in the next video.